Welcome to what we hope will be a truly classic track battle between two of the maddest, most desirable, fast estate cars that money can buy. Mercedes sparkling new turbocharged C63 AMG estate and Audi's uber effective, but also very rapid RS4 Avant. The C63 AMG is just one of those cars that makes you smile. It, it did in the past, and this new one, people were worried about the fact that it's got a turbocharged engine in it, rather than a huge, great 6.2 litre atmospheric V8, but don't worry folks, this thing's a monster. It sounds lovely too. Well, we've got 469 bhp from a four litre twin turbo V8, 479 pounds feet of torque, about 1800 kilograms of car, a mechanical slippy diff, not an electric slippy diff like there is in the S version, which also gets a bit more power. And only rear wheel drive. That could be a boon, <laughs> for me it is, but maybe here today on this track where it's kind of raining one minute and then sunshine the next, maybe that's not the perfect setup. I've got all the traction and everything turned off because although you get a bit of that, I really do not want. Really don't want the electronics interfering too much because it is all about your right foot. And if you can just control your right foot a little bit with a bit of discipline, you can fool and make it go much better than you can if you don't have Sorry, if you do have the electronic systems turned on, but you just, you've just got to be a bit light-footed, that's all. Look out of there. Short shift into third. Lovely front end on the Mercedes. Lovely front end. Oh, but gosh, it wants to just get away from me there. Oh, that's, that's a bit mental through there, actually. <laughs> I'm having to be so delicate with the throttle. I mean, it's great fun, but it's not really what you want against a stopwatch, I have to admit. Goodness me, that's just gone madly sideways. Fourth, fourth gear through there. I think it's going to be faster than the Audi, I really don't. That's not a great time from the C63, it has to be said. But you can see how much of a handful it was to keep under control. Right, RS4 next. This thing's come in for a fair bit of criticism since it was launched a couple of years ago, but not, not that much from me. I, I, I really quite like this car. It's not as, as sweet and, and kind of natural to drive as the original, or not the original, but the old B4 RS4, which was just a peach, but it's still... Listen to that V8, it's just a monster. 4.2, atmospheric V8, unlike the Mercs, which is turbocharged as we know. What a noise. And the way it revs, it's just rude, it really is. I've got it in dynamic mode with everything set to its most aggressive, including the sports diff. So although it's four-wheel drive, it does, it does kind of drift around a bit. It does kind of four-wheel drifts. But anyway, what are we talking about? We're talking about a car that weighs within a pound or two of what the Mercedes weighs. But the big difference ever since it started raining, unfortunately, of course, is that it's four-wheel drive. So I'd be amazed if it isn't faster anyway. We start our lap. <laughs> With a huge, great oversteer slide. to understeer there and there. Got to be a little bit patient and not carry too much speed through that back corner because it's very quick. I'm short shifting there. This is the bit where I reckon the RS4 will make a load of time up over the C63 out of the chicane. It's just got immense traction out of there. It's rude. 
got so much traction actually that you, you've got to kind of resist the temptation to pile into corners too fast because then the nose just <laughs> the nose just goes it hangs on quite well through there through these fast S's whoa it's getting pretty slippery through here now <laughs> very easy to outbreak yourself into the last corner That is the time in the Audi. Okay, it's confession time. In the wet, yes, the understeery, but clinically more effective RS4 was quickest, no question. And good on it for beating the brilliant UC63 in such UK typical conditions. But right at the end of the day, I did manage to get a mostly dry lap in each car. And guess what? The C63 went quickest. So in the end, Let's call it a draw. They are both seriously good cars, but given a choice, well, I think we'd all take the one that makes you smile the most, and that is the new C63 estate. Click on the video windows to watch our track battle between a BMW M4 and the Lexus RCF, also held at Blyton Park, or watch our launch drive of the new C63 AMG Saloon. Click on the play icon to watch our latest video and on our logo to subscribe to our channel.